We're working on some uh, pop vocals here. The song's called Girl Boy Panic, and um, we're in Logic. Uh, this is a pretty big track, um, about 80 plus tracks there. And um, what I'm doing is I'm getting the, the female vocals here from Harmony Phoenix all popified. So here's a part that I've done already. I'll just play it, and I know. Once again, it's coming through the speakers into the internal mic on the computer, but you can kind of see, I'll show it so you can see actually all the editing that went into this to start to get it to uh, play. So these right here are soloed right now. Here we go. The single scene is killing me. I sit at the bar, third wheel, tag along. While they dance with Mr. Right. I can't talk with Mr. Wrong. So you can see there's a fair amount of editing. There's some interesting edits, like right here. I actually put in a fade out there. Um, I can't talk. On the word can't, I think. Because it was just extended to a point, and editing in the middle of the word caused some, uh, you could hear the edit, so. I can't talk. So no, it's on the word I. I can't talk with you can see basically every word is sort of I listen to it I mean it you can kind of do this stuff visually but there's also a phase relationship between all the parts that needs to be considered um, so that you get that pop sound that really thick yet high vocal sound so now I'm gonna walk through that on um, this last I think this is the right section yeah, this last part here. So I've got some edits already done in here, but now we go into sort of the detailed editing process. Here we go. Boy panic. So even just right off the front. Boy. There's a little mouth sound. I don't know which which track it's in actually. Ah, uh, there it is. See that right there. So I'm just gonna get rid of all that, and then we'll. Boy, panic. Yeah. And now, um, the word boy doesn't line up, whether you, you can see it visually, but you can hear it pretty. Panic. Boy, panic. There's a um, boy, there's two points of uh, impact. And then when we zoom in, you can see there really is this front one. And then the other three. That's probably what we're what we're hearing. Um, so I'm just gonna go in. Mm -hmm. There's slightly different lengths and stuff. I think I'm gonna probably pull that one back slightly. You can see it's not the same relationship on the next entrance. So it's not that the whole track is early or something um, along those lines. So here we go. I'm going to talk less now, work more. Boy. There it is. So, Boy, that versus, just moving it back. Boy, just listen to the B. Boy. Versus. So, you know, when you hear the fat Katy Perry voice, you know, there's probably six Katy Perrys, and they've all been possibly tuned, well, probably, if, if it needs it, you know. These, in, in this case, I'm not yet doing any pitch correction stuff, but um, cause the, the melody's pretty straightforward, so it doesn't, doesn't really need it. Um, but yeah, they're all tuned, they're all edited, they're, you know, in, and then they're, they're, you have to get the phase relationships right, like I was saying, which is a combination of auditory and actual lining things up. Now this is an interesting one. On this one, you got to make sure that P sound on the word panic really pops, so. 
see where we're at. If we do that, now we got the ending is off. So I'm going back to it. Boy, panic. It's not bad, actually. It might work. Boy, panic. Yeah, but you still don't hear the end nice and tight. Oh, shit. Still going. All right, so I'm going to... I've set up my own keyboard shortcut here. Control Option K splits at the playback head, um, and then Control Option arrow zooms in. So really quick, I can make those sort of edits just like I just did. Um, now let's just listen to this. I panic. Aha! Uh -huh. Now we have to get the of panic. Boy, panic. It's close, but I can just move them nice and clean. Actually, the place to listen for this type of stuff to like an extreme is um, pop country music. The this consonant sounds are all perfect. I mean, they, they always line up. It's amazing how natural and how great those mixes are. Um, you know, and I know being here up in Chicago, you hear a lot of, um, I don't listen to country, but if you're in production, um, you, you, you should listen to country. <laughs> right, the production is just phenomenal on, on the, the new pop country stuff. And... All right, let's keep going. When it comes to boy. Not bad. When it comes to boys, okay. panic. Once again, we got to get that. When it comes to bull. When sounds pretty good to me. And it, partially that's because it's a W sound, so it doesn't have a sharp attack. Um, this sounded pretty nice as well. Something a little weird in there, so we'll check that out. When it comes to bull. Like the C is not quite right on comes. Okay, so you can see this one is elongated. This part's late over here, and this part's early over here. So I can take that. Ah. Sorry. There's a delay when I'm doing these screen captures, so it's a little awkward. I'm going to do the same thing with this, though. The next part is actually early, so I might end up moving that piece over as well. Um, Listen to the C sound. When it comes to bull, it is also off. When it comes to bull, yeah, yeah. When it comes to bull, that sounds good. The C is on point now. When it comes to, yeah. Let's go check out that. This is not an easy one, but I think probably our best bet here. And also, you can tell, uh, hopefully, that each of these is actually a separate take. Um, this is not the same vocal copied, obviously, or there wouldn't be these inconsistencies. Uh, I am a fan of doing that. Some artists don't, don't like it when I ask them to do that, because it's not easy to sing these parts this close. Um, but for me, if you just copy a track, you essentially either create the exact same track and that's the same as just turning up the volume it gets louder but it's, it's the same thing or um, if it's offset slightly you can end up with um, phasing issues especially if you do it four or five times uh, sometimes it can be a cool effect you know copy a track and delay it you know 20 milliseconds or something and pan them left and right and you get this big thing and and I use that in background vocals but in a lead vocals like this I prefer to have the artist sing it and then I come in and Put it all together. When it comes to bull, there it is. That that was it. Let me just play the whole thing. Boy panic. When it comes to boys panic. You hear that one's still not right, but these are real tight. Boy panic. 
When it comes to boys, panic. I pee. Um, if you listen closely here, you can very clearly hear the uh, lip smacking noise. Pick. I don't know if it's actually getting picked up, but check it out. Pick. When that. it comes. That. Yeah. Like you put a microphone inside of someone's mouth, which when you're recording pop music, generally that mic is, you know, two or four inches away, sometimes a little bit more if you have a great room, but uh, yeah, so you pick up a lot of that stuff. And you could use a gate, but there's also the track coming through there and stuff, and in this, I'm, I'm not too concerned. I panic when it comes to bull. And then we put in our fade in here, so that's not um, awkward. When it comes to ball. Yeah, the, the B is great there, and I think this is now on point. Let's make sure that C is. When it comes to ball. To, when it comes to. When it comes to ball. I don't mind. I think this is sounding pretty decent. Um, probably line that up slightly more, but it's really not not bad. When it comes to boys, panic. Dig it, dig it. I think the B for boys here is on pretty tight. I might move that top one. But it sounds good, so it's always about what it sounds like. Not really what it looks like. It's panic. The P here, though, is... It's panic. Panic, panic. You hear it twice. I know, right? Super exciting. Pop production, yeah. And I'll play you the track. The track's actually pretty fun. <laughs> this is just that uh, that process that most people don't know happens. And when people say a pop production takes, you know, six months or something, um, or 150 hours or whatever, um, you know, this is part of the reason why. Because you want to make sure that everything has that um, clarity and stuff to it. Uh, Sometimes it's a lot more fun to mix the uh, aggressive rock stuff with a bunch of guitars because you can just go for it. But there's something kind of cool about doing this too. Creating this sort of ideal of perfection. You know, it's like a, creating a beautiful sculpture or something. It's not actually reality, but it reflects an ideal reality or something. To boys panic. Ooh, that doesn't work. Boys panic. Panic. And here there's some, uh... It's where the actual pitch shifts. It's panic. Could work, but that's... It all lines up. It looks great, but it really doesn't sound great. It's got a nastiness to it. Is panic. That's better. Oops. Come on. Sorry. Right. That delay sucks. It's really difficult, but it's what it is. I think this is where. No. We in here? When it comes to boys, panic. Boy, panic. There we go. Wow, stop, stop. Okay. All right. Boys, panic. Panic. There's a there's a piece of this that is really not not working for me, uh, tuning wise. So I can either go in pitch correct. Boys panic. Boys panic. That's that's it. That's the one. So 
I got a couple options here. I uh, if, if you listen to that one, you can hear it's a little bit sharp. But it's panic. 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 Goes up. Um, I can pull it from a different chorus, stick it in here. I can take another part and duplicate it and offset it slightly. Um, in this particular instance, we don't have multiple takes on this specific track, but I'm going to completely get rid of that because that, that one's causing issues. And then let's, let's listen and just make sure that that is, in fact, what we are hearing here. Let's panic. Yeah, now it's in tune. So watch, I'll put it back. Let's panic. And now it has this like grinding to it. Um, now I could go in and, and tune it. Uh, that's completely an option. Um, but I'd rather find one <laughs> that's a little better and move it there. A panic. And it won't be that. A panic. Hey, panic. I need that. It's panic. I don't know, that one might be, might, might have the same issue. Let's check it out. But. It's panic. It's panic. Still, still slightly sharp, but it's, um, when I do go back and do some of the, uh, editing and whatnot, it will, uh, it'll clean up. Do, do, do. Okay, copy, go over here, stop. Logic, I have never quite figured out how it handles its cut, cut and paste. But now we have that. Drop it in place. Like so. Crossfade. I have this set up so that when you drag up here, when you drag two things over, they just crossfade between each other, which when you're doing this type of editing, it's extremely helpful. Just makes it very simple, so I don't have to continue to put in crossfades and stuff. Um, you can also have it edit exactly like Pro Tools, where it doesn't overlap, um, and then you can put in your crossfades by hand later. Let's play. Boys, panic. Okay, so that edit works. And let's see how it goes in the context. Boys, panic. It's better. That's still, that's one I might have to come in and spend even more time with. That's how it, uh, that's how it goes. Or, does it make sense? Ah, hold on, let's listen again. It's panic. That's nice. Then I throw this one in. It's panic. Mm. All right, so I'm going to try... A little bit of a different approach here. I'm going to grab one of these and copy it, holding down Option. Um, and then I'm going to slightly offset it. You can see right now they're very similar and they're lined up. Do like this. Sometimes this can cause phase issues. Sometimes it sounds great. It's panic. Yeah, that's a better option. Here it kind of just solidifies it. It's panic. Then we make sure that is all lined up because it's not right now as you can see and possibly hear Boom. it's panic you can hear the, all the um, backups in there so we'll pop, pop those out okay right Go. Shoot. I might have. I don't know what I just did. Put in a little fade in. Oop. Man. Boy, panic. Not bad. The boy there once again. Very good on that note. Boy, panic. And it can be this one. I, I can push because she, you know, it's saying panic. So I'm okay editing it um, forward. I guess you might say. So you can see that one's wait, that's the main one I'm hearing, I think, with the P sound. You gotta be careful when you move these, because there's obviously that initial and then the the hard hit of the P, and if you move it too early, you start to get this like panic, this sort of airy thing at the beginning. 
but in this case it sounds great. Boy panic! And these edits that are already in here are actually because those are different takes when we actually recorded this. So there's already been a series of editing that's happened. Um, and now you're seeing the second set of editing, if you will. Got to make got to make choices when you're recording. I think you you do some takes, and then in the moment, if you can, you make a choice which one sounds best, and you use it. Otherwise, you never get anything done. And if you're like me, and you do this. in between a hundred other things in your life um, because you haven't had that big connection or whatever it is um, where it moves into this actually being your career you don't have time to spend six months trying to figure out what's the best vocal take on something like get it done make a great product as, as best you can and move on move to the next project Make art. Boy, panic! You still hear and hear. There's there's me going panic in the male vocal part. All right, and there comes the cicadas. If you can hear those, oh yeah. Boy, panic! There we go. Boy, panic! Nice. It's a beautiful thing. Telling you, man, you need you, you have to have like a soundproof bunker underground to get away from cicadas. They are that freaking loud. And I love cicadas. I used to collect them. They're shells, actually. I gave them to my mom for a birthday gift once. She did not like it. She screamed and threw them all. Panic. Boy. So here we've got the breath nice and clean. So I'm probably gonna leave that. Just do a quick fade in so it's not too abrupt. Boy, pet. That B is really not together. You can hear it. Boy, pet. There's a boom, 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 boy, like that. Boy, pet. It sounds like it's just one that's late, but it could be. No, I think it's the same thing. It's one. One is earlier than the other three. And it's not that they have to be perfect, and that's that's something to think about. Is don't just do this visually, because then you're you're gonna mess things up. Because it doesn't. It's not about what it sounds like. Boy, panic. That here we have a little bit of that. Text message. My uh, songwriting partner and business partner is on his way with his kids, and he said, "Get ready." I'm not quite sure what that means because I have a shit ton of work to do. So I, I assume it means get ready to do another 12 hours of editing. But it might mean I've got a song idea and we're gonna lay it down. So stop editing. But I have to get this shit done for interviews. Um, with, that the artist has coming up, so the songs need to be done, which means I have to spend a lot of time editing right now. Boy, panic! There we go. Boy, panic! Eh, eh, and you can hear that one's in tune, so I don't have to do anything too crazy there. The sounds pretty good. Could maybe be cleaner. Boy, panic! This is this is all looking good to me. Yeah. All right. Cool. Oh, actually, this is another place where I think this edit was already previously made. So let's see if the nope, no C sound in that. Okay. Let's pull this up. So this is actually a different take than this take here. All right. These are two separate things. You can see that in the numbering. I'm not, I'm not going to explain that right now, but they're different takes. So. Um. I'm really not too concerned at some point in the past, like last week when we recorded all this, with the fifth singer I think we've worked with on this song. Um, 
We just haven't found this. This one's this is working though. I'm Harmony panic. Phoenix. She uh, Harmony Phoenix kills it on this, so we're pretty happy. And it's a great song. It's um, hilarious. It's a uh, speech impediment love song, and it's not really about speech impediments. There's only really one or two sort of references that are obvious that it's that. Um, but the song is about two people with speech impediments um, at a bar and how they're self-conscious about whatever it is. It doesn't matter that it's that, but they're self-conscious and they finally decide to take a chance and actually take a chance on each other at the bar. And You don't find out what happens. That would be the next story or whatever. But it's, the, it's their inner thoughts as they sit at the bar and are frustrated because they always feel like they're the wingman or girl um, because they are self-conscious about a speech impediment, which really isn't, you know, everyone has things they're self-conscious about and whatnot, so it's kind of addressing that in a fun way. Um, Patrick Sully wrote the lyrics, I think completely separately from the song. I think lyrics came first on this one. But Boy, panic. There we go. When it comes to... When it... You gotta always watch out on syllables like that that you get the whole thing in there. W's soft consonants or whatever they're called. I'm not sure. When it comes to boy... That, that's a little... When it comes to boy... I'm gonna maybe bring in a little percussion here. I think I got drums somewhere up here. Main techno. That probably will do it. When it comes to boy... Actually, it works. Uh, I, I, it felt like by itself the vocals were being rushed. And you can see I've already done a pretty big edit there, but um, when it comes to four, that's pretty nice. That's pretty nice. That B sounds good. Comes to this is the word to or two. Um, check it out. Let's move these. Fuck, that's way too much. Just like this. Dink. And you can see, well, I don't know if you can see, but I actually lined up the phase of each of those with the previous phase. When it comes to boys, panic. Boys, panic. And once again, we're getting that sort of panic, panic, as P's don't quite line up and they have different um, attacks, which I like in that situation. I don't like that that to be the sound on P's, so I'd rather take the, um, the P sound that is early and move it back and kind of mask it a little bit than move the other ones up. I think that'll do it. Let's listen. Boys panic. And there's a there's a hard S there, but that it works. Boys panic. And the K is not together again. Yep, one of them's late. Maybe it's that one. Okay. Listen. Panic. Boys panic. Boy panic. You, hear, you can hear all of my vocal harmonies in the back, but there's also some. And if you've ever done voiceover work, those little sounds you really have to pay attention to, if because it's just the voice. So if you're doing books on tape or instructional videos or whatever. All those little noises that people make that they don't even know they're making get picked up by sensitive mics. This was recorded with a um, AKG 414 XL2 uh, and cardioid pattern with a low uh, filter on it. Boy panic! So the boy there, once again, good. 
She's nailing the boy. Um, boy panic! Getting the, the word panic right. Good breath there. So. Boy, panic! Pa panic? Yeah, there's just too much. Let's pull this a little bit. And this top one, you can see there's a pretty massive. E Sorry. That's the, uh, the delay again. But you can see I'm actually lining up these phases here. And then. This one I might need to pull out a little bit. This see how this this sound right here where the waveform gets larger is actually the eh sound of the word pa. And so it's coming in early, even though they all start at the same point basically here, this one's going eh earlier than the rest of these. So the question is do I pull them back or do I move this one? Do I pull them, you know, closer to the front of the song or do I move them this one back? And I think I'm gonna I'm moving this thing back because I think that's what I'm hearing as not lining up is that actual A sound. Um. Boy panic! Yeah. Boy panic! Now it almost hits too hard, but I'm okay with that. It'll pop out. Boy panic! And I think the end here is sounding pretty nice. Ick. The k Ah. So. Doo, doo, doo. Making that C on the word panic come together. This is, I think, one of the last ones in the song. The panic. Boom. It's right there on beat, I don't know, two or something. Uh, it's a double time. Boy, oh, panic. Boy, And I still have one more to go, but you can start to see what's going on. Like, this chorus was great. We nailed it there. Um, but yeah, that's editing pop vocals. And on a song like this, it's about, well, this this section right here just took uh, just over 30 minutes. So this is about three hours of editing. Which, if you're charging, you know, 80 bucks an hour is some money. 240 bucks or whatever. If you're doing it how I'm doing it, then it's not that. <laughs> but that's all right. Um, it will be someday. That's the goal. Here, I'll play the song for you as it stands right now. When it comes to girls, girls that flirt with their bags of tricks and just desserts, my small talk strikes. Right here, I got to get these chorus vocal, male vocals, a little more aggressive sounding. For example, they're not there yet. And then. teaching mode uh so listen to so this is the first verse for the female listen to the first half where i really haven't edited it um and then the second half and i think you'll hear here it has uh it doesn't have that tightness of a pop vocal track it's not it sounds great it's fine if this was a rock song with electric guitars I'd probably be totally cool with this but uh check it out when it comes to boys, 
boys who hustle, who act joe cool and flex their beer muscles. Now it'll tighten up. They'll buy me a drink, and by the third sip, I'm paying the tab and curtain the list. So hopefully you can kind of hear that difference. That's the difference that those three hours of editing make. All right. Cool. Thanks. Hope you learned something if you actually watch all the way through. You know, instructional videos where they tell you how to do it and show you before and after like a cooking thing. It's not the same as actually watching someone really cook and working in a kitchen. So, there you go. Welcome to the kitchen.